Hi guys, so this year we haven't met at the exhibitions, we haven't met at the shooting events and we decided to build up our exhibition booth here in, in our office and address you directly with this series of short videos that we will be putting up. So today we will talk about the Kilo chassis system suitable for Blazer's bolt action rifle array and in this particular case you have the full option with the folding unit, with the bus stop with integrated monopod, length adjustment, cheek rest, and high grade walnut wood fittings. You can get this same version with polymer fittings and now also with carbon fiber and uh, also regular wood. But besides that, we can also offer uh, the chassis without folding unit and with a regular buttstock without the integrated monopod, but with length uh, adjustment and uh, recoil pad adjusted as well as on, on the um, buttstock M monopod. And this is buttstock light. So, a lot of you ask. What do you get when you buy an Aquila chassis system? Do you need the metal work from your original uh, stock? You don't need the metal work. You just need the bolt, barrel, magazine and the sear block. And I can show you how you transfer it from your original stock into the Aquila chassis system. So, every ACSR8 is supplied in a polymer case and it's being supplied with a Torx T20 wrench in the user manual. Please go ahead and read it. It's quite informative. Um, it's, it has a lot of visual information. So every step is uh, accommodated with a picture and it's uh, very easy to take you through the process. So first step, if you want to change from original stock to the Aquila chassis system is you have to remove the parts that you usually remove, the bolt, the magazine and the barrel. The barrel is removed with the same way as the original stock with the 5mm Allen range. You have to unscrew the two nuts that hold the barrel in the aluminium bed. So, now that you have done it, you can install it in the Aquila chassis system because we say that this is not the original. Yeah. Now, tighten the barrel. You have to put the same 11 newton meters to tighten the barrel as you would do on your original stock. And now the tricky part, you have to remove the sear unit. To do it, you will need to use the supply with the chassis Torx C20 wrench. And then you just have to unscrew these two screws from on top of the stock with your bolt removed. So, now that you have removed the two screws, you just need to lift the sear block and here you have another three parts. The bolt release with the spring and the trigger connector pin. The trigger connector pin goes into the Aquila chassis system. There is only one place for it. It goes with the pointy side up. And it's in. Now the bolt release. You just insert it on the side. And now we have to cover it with the, with the sear block. Okay? 
inside. Now just tighten it with the two screws. You don't have to over tighten it. One and a half newton meters, two newton meters is enough. That's it. Now we insert the bolt and the magazine. That's it. So your regular chassis is ready for action. Just return the cheek rest and that's it. So if we are to talk about the functionality. Well, we wanted to develop a very rigid design. So, as you can see, nothing moves on it when the stock is unfolded. And in folded position, it has some play, but it doesn't matter. Because as soon as you unfold it, it's as rigid, as monolithic as it can get. But if you don't like folding units, or in your country it's forbidden for hand, you can also offer a non-folding adapter, which you can install at any time. It just takes a couple of minutes, and uh, you just have to uh, unscrew and screw four, four screws. That's it. So, if you have any questions, I will be gladly answering this. And uh, one more thing concerning weight. The full option would weigh around 2.1 kilos. And uh, the light version, let's say so, would weigh 1 kilo 700 grams. At the same time, you have an M-lock slot underneath, so you can attach a larger bag rider or a monopod. You have length of pull adjustment, you have a recoil pad adjustment, you have a cheek riser that can be adjusted by height and also by tilt. At the same time, you can use different fittings, you can use different accents. Also, we have in program now is a different forend that will be coming soon and yes so I hope to hear back from you guys and see you around bye